Good damn morning, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. Make sure you get all green gear. 25% off. Promo code Jericho1, all caps, and the number one. So, um, California and its exalted piece of shit leader, Gavin Bang Your Wife Newsom. For those who are new, why do I call him Bang Your Wife Newsom? Because he banged his best friend's wife. Look it up. What a piece of shit. So, he found it uh, time to reopen California. Thank you. So now, um, bars, restaurants, gyms, and shit like that, they can now offer services outside. It's not just takeout, but there can be outdoor dining once again. Thank you so much, uh, Czar Newsom. Thank you for that. Now, my only question is, why now? Because they locked it down in December, and it was supposed to reopen on the 11th or 12th of January. And they didn't. They extended it until yesterday. So yesterday, they were able able to reopen. And I guess the the reason for that was because the ER capacity had dropped or dropped or risen, whatever. It was at 15% capacity, basically. 50% left until it was 100% capacity. So because of that, because it dropped, um, to 15%, we are allowed to reopen. But why now? California has the strictest COVID-19 sweet and sour sniffles regulations, mandates, whatever you want to call them. The strictest, most strict, strictest a word, I don't know. They have the most strict mandates, yet the highest number of deaths. Now, could that be because we have the highest population? I don't know. But we got the highest number of deaths and the most regulations. How does that make sense? I don't think it does. But it's funny that now that Bidenist pervertus is in office, all of these cities are like, you know what? We're ready. Because if we don't do it now, these cities and businesses are going to die. Well, no shit, dummy. We've been saying that since the beginning. You shouldn't have shut this shit down. Give people the information they need and allow them to act accordingly. If you're worried or prone to getting COVID-19, stay at home. If you want to wear a mask, wear one. If you don't, it's up to you. But this shit isn't as deadly as they told us it was going to be. Obviously, because how many times, how many videos are out there and pictures of these same politicians telling us to wear masks and they don't have them on? I.E., Gavin bang your wife Newsom at the French Laundry a month ago or so. Sitting right next to a bunch of other health professionals, no mask, elbow to elbow. Damn near making out with each other. But that's okay. But we can't. They're ready to call the police and shut down your business if you're not wearing a mask. But for them, it's all good. The other day, when Biden's dumbass was talking about, I'm shining a mandate to where if you're on federal property, you got to wear a mask at all times. <laughs> right? Later that night, or I'm sorry, the next day, oh yeah, later that night, he's at the Lincoln Memorial, no mask. Yesterday, he's signing some more bullshit, and his mask is all off to the side. That's even worse than not wearing one. You idiot. Nobody looked at him before the cameras went hot and said, sir, pull your mask over to the side. You look like a jackass. Nope. So he's standing up there. Burr, 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 and this is about, uh, 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 I don't know. Uh, mask all off here and shit. Looked like his mask had a stroke. But it's the deadliest thing ever. We're all supposed to shelter in place and wear diapers over our face. Well, then how come you're wearing yours incorrectly or not wearing one at all? Which one is it? But now, Californians, Californians, let's bask in the light of freedom while we have it. Because you know, in a week or so, they're going to come out and say, uh-oh, need to shut it down again. 
They got it. They followed all the rules. They paid all the money. They got people eating in the parking lot, heating lamps, all this shit. Nope, shut it down. But I just shut it down. Okay, open it up. So it shut it down. But I just open it up. So can we shut it down? How about open it up? Well, when we can shut it down, it doesn't make any fucking sense. Open it or shut it down. We've done the shut it down, open this shit back up and allow America to come back to life. Because you're crippling us from the inside and the wolves outside are licking their chops, circling our cabin. Waiting for us to fall weak enough so they can pounce and take their spot as the number one power in the world. Of the world, Craig. But we got the leaders, and I've never used a word more loosely in my fucking life. We have our leaders handing us over, turning us in to China and Russia. And whoever else wants to stick their fucking hands in our pocket and take our money. So while that's going on, you got people like this from the inside fucking us over. And they just had the deadliest day of COVID. On, I think, January 7th, it was more than 4,000 people that died from COVID, so they say. Yet, a couple weeks later, let's open it back up. It was bullshit from the beginning. This was a power grab, and this was a reason to, to get Trump out of office. They tanked the economy to get Trump out of office. That's all it was. They aren't worried about It's like school. When you get busted for being truant, for ditching school, they don't care about your education. It's because they get money per student. And if you're not there, they don't get paid. It's not like, please make sure your child comes to school because we want them to be educated and have a good springboard into life. Well, if that's the case, start teaching how to handle your finances, how to balance a checkbook, how to show up on time for work, cook, clean, take care of yourself. Not a fucking wood shop or interner, internal gender studies, whatever bullshit they're teaching kids. They need some life skills. But they don't care about that. They just want the money. They don't care about no pandemic. They just want the money and power. Nothing else would sink Trump. So this worked. Look who we have in there now. Holy shit. You know what, a uh, couple of few videos back when he was still running, I was like, you know what? Once he get, if he wins and he gets into office, all of a sudden you're going to see him go back to the Biden he was in 2018, where he was bragging about how he stuck it to the Ukrainian government to get what he wanted, to get their investigators off his son's coke, ri coke riddled ass, right? So I figured, you know, if he gets in office, when he gets in there, all of a sudden, he's going to snap back to who he was. And this crazy old, oh, this isn't the mall. That Biden would be gone. Nope, he's still there. Fumbling over his words, wearing his mask off to the side like he put it on in the dark. Anyway, let's move on to something else, shall we? Let's move on to something that the mainstream mediocres are not talking about. Why? Because the, co because the colors aren't right. If the colors aren't right, they're not going to talk about it. If the perpetrator was black, we ain't touching that. If he's white, oh boy, you're in our sights. So there was a lady in Harlem, um, and she was attacked viciously, savagely attacked by these four fucking turds. And the reason you haven't heard about it is because said turds are black. Now, if these turds were white and they attacked and sexually assaulted a black woman, ho oh, ho, shit, they'd be rounding up every white kid in that age group and plastering their face all over social media, regular media, they would be doxxed, their lives would be destroyed, and rightfully so. But since the perpetrators weren't white, since the colors weren't right, they're not touching it. So I'll put a link in the description box. The shit is hard to read. And there's some security footage from the liquor store, but it doesn't really, it shows them kind of the beginning of the attack. 
So this lady is standing inside of a liquor store and these four fucking savage niggas get around her. Those aren't black people that did that. Those are niggas that did that. And they come in every color. So these fucking savages, she said they offered to buy her some wine, a bottle of wine. She said no. You see them kind of circling around her like the, the savages, the animals that they are. So then she walks outside, they get around her, and then they kind of like push her over to this area and assault this woman. And she says that they bit her on the face. One dude bit her, he said he pierced her eyebrow. And she kept feeling his mouth trying to get a better grip on her face to bite down harder. And they were spitting on her and they were kicking her and beating her. She, felt, she said it felt like they were trying to humi humiliate her more than hurt her. So you got this woman being attacked by these fucking pieces of shit. We call them the, the New York Four. Remember the New York Five? Everybody gave Trump shit for saying they should hang. Guess what? Everybody said that. And he didn't say that until they were convicted. So in the eyes of Trump and every other fucking person in the world, they did that. And they should be killed for that. They should have been hanged for that. So should these little fuckers. Now, is there a way that we can hang them, shoot them, and electrocute them at the same time? If so, somebody hook that up. This shit was sick and disgusting, and that woman deserves justice. So you got all these celebrities out here. We need to protect our black women. We need to protect our black women. Really? You know how you protect black women and women in general, but since black folks have the worst problem with out-of-wedlock births? You know how you do that? You repair the family. You get fathers in the home to teach these boys how to respect and treat a woman. And if I find out you've been going against what I've been teaching you, I'm going to fuck you up. You can't beat me. Dad has the ultimate authority. And if there were men in the house to teach these boys how to respect authority and women, a lot of this shit would be cut out. You can see a pants sagging, wearing the fucking thug-ass little nigga uniform. I hope they find every single one of these bastards, and I hope they strip skin from their bones. I hope they get caned and then drown in homeless piss. That was sick and disgusting what they did to that woman. And if I was a man in her life, I'd be combing the streets of New York City looking for these fuckers. About to get some death wish type justice. What the fuck? Why is this not all, all over the place? We know why. Because the colors weren't right. The colors aren't right. Get out of my sight. Could you imagine? Even if Trump's not in, even in office, because you know, if this was under the Trump administration, they would somehow say that Trump's dog whistle words told these little white kids to go fucking rape this black woman. You know they would. But if they were white, even if Trump isn't in office anymore, somehow they would have connected it to him. But since he's not, since it will do them no good, they will not talk about it. Protect our black women. Repair the family and the black women will be protected. But you got hordes of these little fuckers out here with no respect for life. Not even their own. Because if you say something wrong or scuff their J's, they will kill you. And thinking back on when I was a young man hanging out with my buddies, what are the chances, like the chances of you having one pervert in your group is pretty slim. And if he is a fucking sicko, he better keep that shit to himself. Because contrary to popular belief, men aren't a bunch of fucking sex-starved savages looking around for a woman. We got morals. We got respect. And if we had a homeboy like that, you better be gone from us or something's going to happen. But what are the chances that you get four perverts that are all friends, that are all willing to do this to somebody? That's how far this shit has gone that all four of these little bastards that were hanging out were fucking perverts. How does that happen? I'll tell you. They're not taught that when they're kids in the home. No respect 
for life. This is what happens. How come the neighborhood didn't dump these fuckers on the doorstep of the police department? They should have no refuge with that kind of evil. The neighborhood, the community should turn those little fuckers in. You know they're going to talk. That's what they do. I'm surprised they didn't live stream it on Facebook. That's what these little bastards do. You know they're going to talk. Nobody's going to turn them in. No snitching, right? But the police, you're racist. You never saw the case because you motherfuckers never talk. You ever watch First 48? The police go up in there door to door. I haven't seen shit. I don't know nothing. I haven't seen shit. Steady gunning each other down, but you don't want any justice for it. But you're out there with your little candlelight vigils and your teddy bears talking about justice for so-and-so. You don't want no fucking justice. Because if you did, you would turn these little bastards in. How much you want to bet they're going to be caught from the security footage that they put out and not by somebody in the neighborhood who they tell that they did this shit. Man, this is sick. You'll see the article. Read that shit. Look at the footage. You can see those little monsters licking their lips, licking their chops at this little victim. And there were no other men around. Were there no other men on the street? It took place at six o'clock in the evening. There was no one else around to say anything. It happened right outside the store. You can see the footage. They didn't follow her for miles. They did it right there. She said she kept screaming. He's biting me. He's biting me. Now, it didn't say in there that anyone came to her rescue. Maybe I missed that, but I read the whole thing. It didn't say any in there anywhere that someone came to her rescue. So did they just do what they did and left her there? In a pile with bite marks and saliva all over her? What the fuck? Where are we? Every single one of those little motherfuckers needs to be caught and killed. You need to be buried up to your head with honey poured on it and let the red ants go to town and kill you slowly. Disgusting. You'll see. But on that note, you know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell because every time it rings, a piece of shit lefty cries. Get your Jericho Green notification tone link in the description box. Utilize the PayPal link and the Teespring link to get your green gear. I am Jericho Green. Man, I'm out.